Protecting Civic Education in your WAYEC. Here are the topics. Here are the places that they will get the questions from. I will just give you something like an expo, an exposition into the exact topic that the questions will come from so that when you are reading, you will not just be reading randomly. Watching this video from beginning to end will expose you to, you will not be taken on our words. You will just know this is where the questions will come from. So just pay attention. There will be paper one and paper two. Of course, you already know we'll have OBJ, your OMR, that we just shared, which should be about 50 questions. Then, then there will not be theory. Now, this theory is divided into many sections. Section A is basically national ethics, discipline, rights, and obligation. Under that, we we'll have under section here we have values. So you should just read up definition of values, types of values, importance of values in the society. Then section and the next topic is citizenship and nationalism. So basically, you need to study meaning of citizenship, meaning of citizenship education, goals of citizenship education, duties and obligation of citizens, meaning of nationalism. Ways of promoting national consciousness, integrity, unity in society, the nationalistic roles of individuals and groups, identification of local and world civil problems. Another topic to focus on is human rights. Human rights, like meaning of human rights, categories of human rights, characteristics of human rights, meaning and historical background of UDHR, that is basically Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So read these things, then read the seven core freedoms under Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Importance of Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Roles of individuals, groups, and governments in Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Limitation to the exercise of human rights. So read up these things. Then read up law and order law and order basically just go to your um your civic textbook and read up this topic now you may not be getting this things as i'm saying them i can send you past questions on civic education i can send you this syllabus i'm reading from so that you can have access to it and study it on your own i can also send you timetables and i can guide you i can also add you to our study group so I can learn. What you just have to do are three things. Like this video now. Just like this video immediately. Then uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel right now. And come under this video and tell me that you have subscribed. Then I can send these materials to you and any other help you want. Another topic is law and order. The future of law and order, features of law and order, importance of law and order in society, meaning of considered authority, types of considered authority. This is I'm saying will come out. Important, importance and roles of considered authority. The other topic is responsible parenthood. It will come out. Both the meaning, the role of responsible parents, importance of responsible parenthood in national development. The another one is traffic regulation. Meaning of traffic regulation. Traffic regulation is important in society. The role of individual and government in the maintaining traffic regulation. The interpersonal relationships. Both meaning of interpersonal relationship, types of interpersonal relationship, meaning of intercommunal relationship, and all the rest. Section B, I told you there are many sections. Section B will be Imagine issues in the society, like things happening in the society. But there, there are many things. But for this year, the ones they will focus on is cultism. So go to your textbook and study cultism. Study drug abuse, drugs and drug abuse. Both their meaning, types of drug, different cults in Nigeria, reasons for cultism and all the rest. Just study up everything you can about cultism, drug and drug and drug abuse. It will come out. Human trafficking is always coming out. 
then study also HIV and AIDS. HIV AIDS. Both meaning, causes, symptoms, effects, how to prevent the stigmatization of people living with HIV and AIDS. Study this and it will come out both in OBJ and in your theory. Then youth empowerment. What does youth empowerment mean? What are the skills youth are empowered in? The importance and benefits of youth empowerment skills, efforts of government towards youth empowerment. Section C is governmental systems and processes. Governmental systems and processes. Basically, you need structures and functions of government, which is basically meaning and function meaning of government, structural ties of government. You have, basically, you have three ties and functions of government. Another topic you should look for in your textbook is democracy, rule of law, and national development. I've told you I can send this materials, timetable, syllables, past question on civic education and all that other subjects. Other subjects you will want me to send to you. Just subscribe to this YouTube channel immediately. Come under this video and tell me you are subscribed. Remember to share this video also to your classmates that are also writing civic education and other exams, both JAMB, WAYEK, NECO, and continuing student in secondary school. Political apathy is another topic. After political apathy, study civic, civil society and popular participation. Civil society, meaning of popular participation. Just go to your top textbook on civic education and study up these things because they will come out. Another area, the last but not the least topic is Public service in democracy. Public service in democracy. Public service in democracy. So study up these things. Subscribe to this YouTube channel right now and then tell me the materials you need as I will be able to start guiding you. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the best.